Hello everyone, so in this video I want to show you how to quickly change a real meditation type of um, connection of your connectors uh, while switching from user profile. So one request asked me, I have CFAST in a Hoptistract model, how do I get um, spring plus a tight contact in radius um, solver uh, profile? So to do so, I've created a, a two simple plates with CFAST elements. And if I zoom in right now, you see that I have connectors. So I started by defining some connectors. If I don't have these connectors, so let's say that I have a pure off-fan mesh with no connectors. Let me delete my connectors and only the connectors, not the FE realization. So you see that I don't have the green button anymore, but I have still my CFAST elements. So now let me go to the points because uh, I consider them as separate points. And when you over your mouse over the icon, you see that you have a small cylinder that appears, which is which stands for FE absorb. So here I can ask for absorbing, and here I want to absorb CFAST elements. So let me hit and play. And you see that I have some CFAST in connectors that are populated. <laughs> now let's switch to a radius profile. And in the new interface, you, you have in the latest versions, you have two ways for converting. Either you have the historical convert approach, which will convert uh, a lot of entities. Um, um, maybe not all entities, depending on the complexities and non-linearities of your entities, but it will be the most comprehensive one. Or in the latest version from 2021, we have what we call the soft conversion, which is if you just change um, the user profile, uh, some basic entities such as properties, such as elements, such as materials, uh, will be automatically converted sets also. So let me just switch to the radius user profile. <laughs> so here the CFASTs are not cor correct anymore. So let me unrealize this one. And let me go to the connector controls. And let me create, so I had one controller for my OTStruct CFAST and I will right click create a radius spot weld sorry and I want this to be a type 2 spring and if needed you can if you want to give a specific property you can assign a specific property with your settings of interest if not uh, hypermesh will populate a default one uh, I really encourage you to look for your own property in order to tune the connections with the desired uh, parameters. Uh, so let's keep this way. Just let me close. Now let me select all my connectors. Go into the connector control, hit the three dots. Pick my radius spot weld, apply, validate. So as I, was, as I had a filter on point general, say fast elements, the list is now empty, so I need to go back to points, general, type to spring, and then I can right click, realize. And here I have my springs that are created with my uh, type 2 connections. So if I go to the groups, I see that I have my type 2 connections for um, the spot welds. Uh, and by the way, which is not reviewed correctly, let me go to the type 2. Is it better now? Review. And here I have my review. Okay. Red is a secondary node. Uh, blue are the primary surfaces. And same for the other one. 